Hi, welcome to this session on guidelines for conducting EFA with M+. This session gives an overview of the process of conducting EFA with M+, and also presents commands used in M+, for conducting EFA. Besides, it also gives an overview of the interpretations of the key results. So, uh, how to run EFA with M plus? First, create a file in M plus, then save it in a folder where your data file is located. Then write these commands title, colon, and then here write the name of the, your project. Then write data, colon, file is equal to here write the name of the data file. Remember, if data file is not located in the same folder we have, where you have saved the M plus file, then you need to give here complete path of the location of the data file. Then write variable colon names are. Here, uh, put names of all variables contained in the data file. Space must follow each indicator. However, there is one option more. What you do, if your indicators or variables are in the form of series, typical like of OC1 to OC6 and blah blah blah, then what you can do, you can simply give a real so OC1 dash OC6. So M plus will consider it six indicators OC1, OC2, OC3, OC4, OC5, and OC6. If some indicator is missing, so then another option is uh, uh, given below. So then write use variables are bring only those variables from this list which you will use in conducting EFA and paste them here. No demographic variables should be uh, in the second list. Then write analysis, colon type is equal to EFA. Here give the range of the number of factors which you are expecting from EFA. For example, if you are expecting four to five number of factors to be extracted from EFA, then you can write it EFA space uh, 4 space 5, semicolon, then estimator is equal to ML semicolon, then plot colon type is equal to plot to semicolon. So it will ha help you in uh, producing the screen plot. So few more things you have to keep in mind. Number one, is that at the end of each command, you have to put a sign of or symbol of semicolon. So semicolon is an indication that one command is ending here. Secondly, no command line should have characters more than 90. So especially when you are writing a long list of variables, so uh, you would be in need to break the rows otherwise M plus will not run. Now coming to interpretation of the results. The first one is the number of facts. How many number of facts are appropriate? Two things you have to keep in mind. The first one is the eigenvalue. Uh, you can expect expect number of factors having uh, eigenvalue greater than one Second one is the uh, fit and license. Screen plot can also help you in selecting the appropriate number of factors. As far as fit and license is concerned, you can examine chi scale. Besides, you can also uh, check CFI and TLI. So CFI and TLI's values should be uh, greater than 0.5. 9. Above 0.95, they are preferable. 
then rm is ea and uh, srmr's values should be less than 0.08 and ideally they should be lesser than 0.05 then you can also examine the uh, loadings and uh, when you're examining the loadings so first you can check the you need to check the loading size second one is the cross loading as a loading size is concerned so you can consider all items or indicators with loadings less than 0.45 for removal secondly you can also consider those items which are loading on more than two factors one more than one factor maybe on two factors or three factors um, with higher loadings or with a smaller differences then you can also consider them for removal so after doing all this exercise um, uh, it's strongly recommended that uh, you prepare this kind of table so where you uh, put the values the chi square degree of freedom cfi cli srmr rmsc and aic for each options so since uh, uh, m plus runs uh, uh, the analysis for e for the range for example if you have given a range the number of expected factor from uh, 3 to 5 so it will generate three kind of results factor 3 is exploitative factor analysis then factor 4 factor 4 then factor 5 so on the basis of these indices then then you have to examine so which one is the better options so you check the better best option so uh, as far as AIC is concerned the lower one is the better one but for the readings, uh, here are some list of uh, books and articles for your review. So thanks for watching.